what does this science critic say? Well, again, it's in line with what we had to say today, and that's visualization. Is physics about visualization? Should a theory of physics be visualizable? Can you illustrate, should you be able, must you be able to illustrate a mechanism of physics? Well, hopefully the answer is yes. There, I mean, if, if physics deals with objects and objects is that which has shape, then there should be no reason not to illustrate that which has shape, all the objects that are gonna cause the mechanism to happen. Okay, that's the rationale. So let's see what the science critic had to say. Give me a second here. The issue to be addressed in this rebuttal is, a theorist has no excuse not to illustrate the mechanism he proposes for invisible phenomena such as gravity or magnetism. Bill, do you know how difficult it can be sometimes to create visualizations? I don't think every scientist has the time to go ahead and create a movie that visualizes the things that they are thinking of. Of course, there are quite a few diagrams, so that might be something that you'll have to settle for, Bill. Imagination is subjective, not objective. I'm sorry, Bill, but you're going to have to settle for diagrams because scientists are under no obligation to provide movies to you. They are not film producers, they are scientists. Okay, so Fala says you should not be able to, you don't have to produce mandatorily, right, uh, a film or, of your mechanism. Well, the reason they do not make illustrations, I mean, if you go to the archive, the, the, uh, where most of the papers, scientific or so-called scientific papers are um, uh, filed, you hardly will find any paper with any drawing, with any pictures, with any images. And the reason is they're talking about abstractions or like uh, Mr. Bourne said, Max Bourne, he said, physics has become more and more abstract. And yeah, the problem is that abstract is the opposite of physical. So physics is physical and these people are doing abstractions. So they're not physicists, they're abstractists. Okay. And so, yeah, you should be able to illustrate a uh, mechanism, a theory, the causes, right? Uh, in physics, a theory of physics. You should be able to illustrate because that's what a theory of physics is. It's a mechanism. You want to understand how gravity works. You had better be able to illustrate the mechanism. And he says, look, uh, they don't have time. They're not film producers. No, that's not the reason. The reason is they have no idea what the invisible intangible objects are out there that are performing all these magic tricks that Mother Nature does every day. Okay. And again, I'm going to put the same ones up here. Here you see them. Ah. Why not? Yes, I give me a second here. These are the you know Big Bang. What are you going to put for a zero-dimensional singularity, be it a black hole or a Big Bang? Okay, what are you going to put a zero-dimensional object? What are you going to put for a dark matter? You can't see it or touch it. How about dark energy? Same thing. Particle at two places at once. What are you going to illustrate? The rabbit at two places at once. I mean, you can illustrate it, but it, uh, what sense does that make? How are you going to tell someone? Look, that's the same rabbit at two places at once. You know what sense does that make? How about an excited field? What are you going to put a bunch of numbers that vibrate? Wave packet, what are you going to illustrate? That's why they don't illustrate, because they cannot. All their concepts, not one of them is an object, not one can be used in physics. Uh, the atom, you can't illustrate it because, again, if you illustrate what you see there, you're going to have to explain why that electron doesn't fly away. And warp time, you know, what the hell is that? You know, the warp minutes, warp seconds, is that what makes GPS work? So, again, it's the, the, the reason they have not been able to illustrate, and the reason they don't illustrate is because that would be the physical interpretation of whatever equation they've got out there. And they say, no, no, uh, mathematical physics, which they call physics, is just equations. How about the, the physical interpretation? We want to know how gravity works, how magnetism works. They say, oh, that's philosophy. We don't do that. That's not physics. That's not physics according to the 17th century so-called scientific revolution version of the scientific method, not according to science, genuine science, which is explain to me why this pencil you know, falls to the earth. Explain to me what causes this magnet to be attracted to the other. We need an explanation. That's what they don't have. Okay, it's all irrational explanations because they are putting concepts in lieu of objects to try to explain. In other words, give you a physical interpretation when it's an abstraction explanation, abstract explanation, not a physical explanation. It's got nothing to do with physics.